And uh, just got to do some fence in here. Had to pick up some wire. Had a guy ask me about the ammo on my dash. And uh, that is PRVI Partisan Ammo for the 2250 that you see sitting right behind us there. And uh, we have plenty other guns. And if you catch some of my videos later on this summer, you'll get to see us uh, shooting quite a few of them. Got an SKS 308 3030. Pretty good handful of guns, anyways. And then there's a buddy of mine that comes out, does quite a bit of shooting. He has a pretty awesome gun collection. He does a lot of the semi-autos and the pistols and things like that. So, a lot of fun to come. But anyways, holy crap, it's muddy here, Roman. Yeah, we got some slop, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Hey, take a look up on the hill there. Yeah, we still got, that's about half melted off. Those trees were almost covered here over the, uh, here over the, the You can still see some big drifts in there, then. That, was, that made for some fun snowmobile riding, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, so off we go. i got to take a drink of my trusty coffee here. God, you and your coffee. Do you say, does your heart stop beating without it? Yes, I'm like a hummingbird. If I don't quit or if I quit moving, I die. <laughs> okay. As you can see, the fence is pretty, pretty loose here. We like snow. It makes for good moisture and good hay. But the problem that we have is that with heavy snow comes tore up fences. Because the snow lays on and uh, takes down the wires. So right here we got to do just a little bit of maintenance. And then uh, fix that broken wire there and then we got another little spot to fix. Then maybe we can keep the cows in. That's usually a plus, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Canadian, eh? Oh, be careful, Dave might get mad at you. <laughs> Speaking of such things, I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to compete or take Dave's Dave's fire away. I am trying to do something a little different here. But I just want to make it clear that I'm I'm trying to do my own thing. I don't want to be a copycat. So <laughs> Okay. So anyway, anybody that, most of you guys that watch my videos will know who Dave is from David's Farm. If you like what you see here, you'll probably really like David's videos. He's, uh, he's pretty awesome, and uh, you can find it on YouTube at David's Farm. Just search for David's Farm and you'll find the channel. He's got some really good stuff on Yeah, and on, uh, I can't speak for Mr. Wick on this one, but anyone's got anything uh, sour to say about, about David Rock can either keep them themselves or be ready to uh, to argue with me for hours. I will second that one. Yeah, wasn't going to speak for you on that one, but... <laughs> oh, I'll speak for it. Anyway, he's going to get this broken wire here fixed. Fun, fun. As my friend Bob would say, excitement, excitement on the jungle tour today. Getting to see a little scenery, are we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta soak it up a little, you know. <laughs> Some people aren't as lucky as us. They can't see this anytime they want. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, learn to take it for granted pretty easily. Like. Yeah, some people are subjected to concrete walls, and that's just well, that's just a different lifestyle. That it is. We're using. You'll notice these. <laughs> What's that? My cell phone. Oh, oh, you're getting service right there. Apparently. No kidding. You'll notice this wire has red barbs on it, and it's what we call red barb wire, and this is by far the best wire that you can buy. Problem is, it tears the shit out of gloves, because the barbs are so sharp. What makes a good wire is the, uh, the wire doesn't have the tendency to stretch, so you don't have to come back and work on it so often. Which Not is as nice. dangerous as razor wire. <laughs> Say what? Not as dangerous as razor wire. Hey, we can try that, you know, make some bunkers. 
Yeah, well, I think you'd have a lot of little pieces of put, leather put, laying around put, after that. Put little green army helmets on the couch. <laughs> Or, or, or you can put them in uh, jumpsuits. <laughs> Cows in jumpsuits. Now that would make an interesting video. Oh, yeah. I mean, they already got brands, except for now the brands would be numbers. Yeah. I like the way you think, Mr. Kowalch. Yes, well, it scares many. <laughs> yes, sometimes it frightens me. Why do you think I haven't told you to go away yet? I'm afraid you might eat my soul. <laughs> Who says I won't anyway? <laughs> oh shit. But you can see the distinct problem that I was talking about with the fence, because I may not walk on water, but I can stand on fences. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, that fence post there is supposed to look more like the one over there. <laughs> and it doesn't. Well, so you know what kind of job security you have? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I don't know if we explained that Roman is a contractor, carpenter. Um, him and his dad run a very good business out of Fairview. A lot of the work that you see in the houses and stuff around here are done by him and his dad. And it's excellent, beautiful, beautiful work. Roman is dad. Oh, it's okay. What are you taping? So, after it's been dug out so the cows don't try to get over it, you can should be able to see how deep that snow really is because there's four wires to that fence and, and that's where the second wire is. And you can see why deep snow around here is kind of a pain.